Hello, I'm Magin Panik and welcome to the 5 part series Introduction to Toon Boom Harmony for Special Effects Artist. In the first one, we're gonna learn how to draw and export your first animation. Let's double click on the software. Two things we're gonna focus is the name of the file and the location. Let's call it Tutor Location on the desktop and create scene. We're gonna wait for a second. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna check the file that's just created. We're gonna open the folder and there's no file that we can open the scene with. So let's go to the scene, Control S for saving the scene. And then we have the source file and we can open this scene later. All right, so let's focus on the tune boom yours your window might look slightly different we're gonna talk about it in the second part tutorial but for now the first thing we're gonna do is hold spacebar to move around the camera view which is here if for some reason you can't do this uh, the software have a little bug sometimes you have to go to edit preferences and just close it and you're good to go. Uh, one and two to zoom in and zoom out. And of course, we're gonna need brush to draw something. Uh, we're gonna focus on the timeline because there we're gonna draw our first frame. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to tool properties and change the maximum size to 30. If you don't have this window or the other, you will simply press this plus icon and you select the uh, window that you need and you're good to go. What we're gonna do next is uh, for this very effect, we need to uh, have the center of the screen. So it's good to click the save area, which will tell us where is the center of the screen. There we go. What we're gonna draw first is the line top to bottom, but we want uh, this line to be snapped aligned to axis. So we're gonna hold Alt Shift to create a perfect line like this. And then we're gonna select it with Alt S, the select tool. We're gonna select it and we're gonna move it having the center dot at the very center of this image we're gonna center to the center of the screen we're gonna copy and paste that and it's shifted by a slight amount we're gonna reduce that holding shift to left arrow up arrow once and we're gonna hold alt shift to rotate it just like that maybe it's a good idea to resize it a little and what we're gonna do next is holding this to find ellipse and from the very center holding alt shift we're gonna draw a circle just like that this will uh, work for us just as a guide and nothing else we're gonna draw uh, four dots at the edges of the circle where we had the cross and the cross is gone at this point what we're gonna do next is we're gonna learn two hotkeys, period and comma for the next and the previous frame, as you can see on my timeline. Uh, we're gonna go to the frame two and we're gonna click Alt O to have onion skin on, which is here. Our goal for this animation at the very beginning will be to have a clockwise rota rotation a clockwise movement like this with those dots so they will speed up and collide at the very center so the first frame with the dots will be just like this the next one they are going a little bit faster just like that something like uh, something that i really like to have is uh, if you double click on the color 
you are using this black color because it's selected. If you'll double click on it, you have the alpha preference and you can tune down the alpha. You can quickly notice that all the frames that you drew with this color turned to gray. So this alpha applied to everything. We're gonna talk about the colors later in the next tutorial. So we are moving with those dots. We kind of don't need the circle anymore. We know the motion. It was just to start with. And we are gonna move to the next frame. So the dots starting to turn towards the center. And we're supposed to have something like seven frames until the dots reaches the very center of the screen. So this is the sixth frame. And the last one. Maybe for this one they should be slightly longer. And for the last one they will collide. Maybe not necessarily like touching in the very center, but very close. So we'll have the idea that they will collide in a split second on the next frame. We're gonna go to the first frame. We're gonna select this circle because it's not need, uh, needed anymore here. We're gonna go to the frame eight and paste it. We're gonna use the paint bucket tool, Alt I to fill this space and using Alt S to eliminate this outer edge. What we're gonna do after the impact, we're gonna have a little ball that will grow. So let's shrink, in, or shrink it down, Alt Shift I'm holding. Uh, I'm gonna copy and paste it on the next frame. You'll quickly notice it's uh, pasting it in the very, very same place, not shifted with this shift left up arrow amount. So we're gonna grow it to something like this. And then we're gonna slowing down with those distances. The every next frame will be half of the distance of the previous one. That's the idea here. I'm gonna copy that couple times so it will slowly get to the position where it's no longer moves. How many frames do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna have the ninth frame where I'm not rescaling at all. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna erase some parts. So we're gonna draw some negative spaces in the bowl just like that but i'm gonna tell you at the very beginning how we will erase those spaces so i'm gonna draw something really quick like this so of course we can erase with the eraser which is not efficient at all we can select something and just press delete i always have the delete button on my pen that's very very handy very useful speeding up my workflow like a ton and also I can just press U on my keyboard and you can see that U icon appear next to my cursor. With holding U, I can just select everything that I don't need on the screen or just click on one that will undraw the things that I need. In the first frame, there is no space to draw any negative space. So we're gonna start on the second one Let's draw a little ball like this and the next one will be significantly bigger just like our ball and draw and then we're gonna grow it even bigger. We're gonna focus on that later but let's go to the second frame right now 
and let's start drawing another negative space like this over there it's gonna grow exponentially at the very beginning and it's gonna slow down towards the border and right now I'm gonna focus on the top part and I'm, I will try to shrink it slowly using as many frames as I have on my timeline to use so something like this just a little dot here of course I'm using alt e for the eraser and before I will finish this I think I need one more negative space but I will not start it here I like to shift timing a little so I will start on the third frame and I will draw a little negative space here which will grow exponentially as well and now we're good to go to finish up this growing ball just like that and we're gonna keep continuing erasing these shapes until nothing is left on the screen I will focus on the right part at the very very beginning right now last frame and then on the bottom part something like this two more frames one and two there we go and on the left part I will focus right now here one more frame and there we go I'm gonna undraw everything that I have and we can play this animation like this we can simply notice it's going throughout our entire timeline so I like to click on the very last frame and click this stop thing we can always hold these triangles and move them around but they are pretty hard to catch at the very beginning it was here it was hard to catch so it's simply to just use this stop and start to define where it should start uh, we're gonna hit this loop icon and press play so we have the animation uh, the very last thing I like to do in things like this there are a couple things that are missing I'll be for the brush again this space uh, erased very very quickly so what I like to do is I like to draw a little line here so it will not be so empty and there will be some kind of motion around the same here there is kind of like a triangle here that's supposed to be there something that I like to have one two three frames maybe there there we go and the same with those two parts here and there You can notice when I draw a little loop it fills the inside of it and it's because under the two properties I have selected out of fill which helps if you for example draw some circles like raindrops or whatever okay we're gonna go to our color we're gonna bring back the alpha we're gonna turn the color to white because if we render our scene it's gonna turn uh, background to black so to make it visible let's go this way I'm gonna save the scene file export movie uh, remember to install QuickTime to export videos from Toon Boom because it's using QuickTime so it's a necessary thing to have it I'm saving the file under this scene folder going with tutor underscore v1 
save and I will determine whenever uh, what I want to render not all frames but just the part that I drew frame 1 to frame 16 let's go this way resolution same as scene resolution and we're gonna change the video format to H264 MPEG4 let's go and hit OK so let's check it right now and there we have our little thing that we just drew okay on the next tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to move around the window and make it simpler for you to work and actually just erase a couple things that, are, that you're not gonna use for sure thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one cheers